Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. Alright then, so I guess I'll just speak about some low budget, obscured movie from the past. Yeah, it's a blast from the past, here we go, of course folks. And I just figured, let's just get into it, I suppose. Blast from the past, yes we folks. Anyway, it's, it's something I've done before, so why stop now I guess. Anyway, the film I'll be reviewing is an Italian movie, An Age for Satan. This is the American dubbed version, by the way, just so you know, the English translation. Yeah, it starts as one actress. I spoke about her before, quite a few times, actually. So, yes. I'm pretty much familiar with her work already, so why not just get into her wonderful features again? But, okay, before continuing proceeding forward... Folks, just to be perfectly clear, okay, I'm not the one to actually believe that there was a hell, heaven, and all that. Oh, Satan has a realm, the devil, and all that shit. I don't believe in that, okay? As far as I'm concerned, it's just hocus pocus, mumble jumble, agent bullshit, alright? I'm just gonna review this as a movie, and that's literally it. Anyway, of course, like always, let's talk about the plot, shall we? So here we go. So obviously, there's gonna be some weird shit going on, like a lot of these horror movies would, of course. It was a horror movie. He's not supposed to be happy anyway. So whatever, suppose. Anyway. So, yeah, there is this resurrected statue uh, of a woman causes the townspeople to remember. And uh, let's just say there's going to be some strange events that start to happen. Kind of obviously. And things just get weirder and weirder as it goes, of course. So there's this countess. And... She pretty much returns to her birthright, requests this old statue to be revealed in this lake, be a, be done in a certain way by this artist, despite being associated with this very specific curse. So as a result, yes, obviously, there's some mysterious deaths that begin to occur with the villagers that have some kind of association with the return of the countress so yes and the statue thing and you know so on and so forth so the personality of the countress begins to change of course because of this and whatnot yeah it has something something to do with the woman of the statue of course and whatnot so yeah it just keeps getting like what's going on here because like, there's some kind of supernatural element of this as you might expect when it comes to these movies especially when it comes to satanic stuff so obviously there's gonna be some kind of supernatural evil stuff attached to it in some kind of fashion. And, yeah, that's about it, really. It comes to the general story, of course. I mean, there's going to be a bit more to than just that, obviously, but I'll just leave it there, of course. So, of course, obviously, because it's rare that I will give any spoilers in my, in my videos. I've done it before, but it's, it's just not often, anyway. But what I recommend is, yeah, I would. Of course, I would definitely recommend this. Uh, again, this is the English translation version, of course. The dubbing is decent, of course. And like the actress I just showed you earlier, she tends to be in this, like, gothic-type horror movies, and this doesn't stray away from to that. I'm not that I'm trying to suggest being goth or being pagan or emo or whatever. I'm not trying to suggest that's... E I'm not trying to say that's evil. I'm not trying to say that's satanic. I'm just talking with the style of the... Storytelling, that's all I'm saying. That's literally um, all I'm saying. I'm not trying to stereotype anybody or whatever. That's not what I'm doing or whatnot. Okay, I'm just throwing it out there. Anyway, but in grand scheme of things, the, the story does what it's supposed to, of course. The story is, is fine how it is, of course. I like the way it was done in the grand scheme of things, of course. And, okay, something I've mentioned before is that I, I could have just reviewed this in my Halloween -a thon last month. But, that's kind of the thing, though. Like I always said, I, I most likely would have done this anyway, sooner or later. If I don't review it right away, if I don't do it now, I would eventually get to it, I guess. That's the thing. That's, that's how it usually works for me. When it comes to talking about, like, a certain topic, or maybe a certain movie, or whatever, or whatnot. If I want to talk about it, if I don't get to it right away, I'll eventually get to it. Which has happened multiple times before, by the way. Maybe some things will just get in the way. And whatnot. Maybe it's personal things or just pouring too much on my plate, which also does happen quite frequently as, as well. So I was gonna 
get to this movie eventually anyway. Just throwing it out there. Again, to be perfectly clear, even though, perfectly clear, even though I've already mentioned this already, again, I don't believe in Satanism. I don't believe in the devil. I don't believe in all that, all right, folks? I, I don't think there's an a- actual Lucifer and whatnot. I'm not here to just argue that. I'm not here to bring that up. I know some people say Lucifer and Satan are just two different individuals. Even though the some others would say that it's the same person and whatnot, yada yada yada. I'm not I'm not trying to argue one way or another. It's just I'm just I'm just mentioning that up because Satan is in the title of this film and whatnot, and the whole evil stuff is just a theme of the movie. That that's it. That's all. I'm just trying to look at this as a movie, all right? I'm just trying to look at this as a movie and nothing more. That because that's it's a movie. That's it. It's just a movie. I'm just trying to argue, view this as a movie, nothing more. I'm just trying to print, prevent uh, present. A movie. And that's it. That, that's all I'm trying to do here. I don't believe in none of this. I don't believe that. I'm not going to go say uh, say that if you watch this, there's some kind of wicked spell that's going to lure you to Satanism. He's going to come off the screen and make you think this or that and go against Christians. I'm, that's not what I'm doing here. Because I do believe that's ridiculous. I know some Christians have believed that, but I'm just doing nothing. I mean, all right, I'm just going on a small tangent here, like I often do. But anyway. It's used, uh, this kind of storytelling has been done before, of course. I know I noticed that uh, a, lot of, a lot of these horror movies would use, like, this kind of cult, like a cult-like thing or whatever, or somebody adjacent to that, I guess, to some extent, in a ballpark field, I guess, of that. I can kind of see why, because this kind of thing does exist in real life. Of course, when you think about it, this kind of thing does exist in real life, especially when it comes to religion, of course. And a lot of people, there's lots of doomsday cults out there when it comes to religion. You can really easily adapt that out here, of course. And, again, not that I believe in a doomsday kind of thing, okay? I'm, I don't believe in that either, to just to be clear, of course. And, no, I'm not saying all Christians are crazy, okay? There's a lot of, there's a lot of them, and, yes, the Christian community is known for being, you know, crazy in the head in the main brain. But I'm not going to argue they're all like that either, just to be clear. Anyway... As for the acting in this movie, the acting isn't too shabby, I suppose. Yes, even though it's a low-budget movie, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's terrible. Especially like the one actress I just showed you earlier, folks. The acting is really good. Yeah, I like the acting in this one. It's really good, especially for the one actress. She really does play the part when it comes to these types of roles, of course. And, and in some ways, I'm kind of using this as an excuse to talk about her, of course. And no, I don't condemn women for playing the main character. I don't mind if a woman plays the main character. That's fine. I, I, I don't mind it. I'll give this an overall rating of a 7.010. It gets a 7.010 for me. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time. See you. Oh, yeah. Later.